This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We tag along with Cal Labakan of Blair, Wisconsin, as he gets to fulfill a lifelong dream, hunting mule deer in the Canadian Rockies. Then we head to central Wisconsin for part two of the Wisconsin Food Plot Project, where we learn what to look for when selecting food plot seeds, how to effectively cultivate these different blends, and when is the best time of year to plant these plots to maximize the effect. Oh, yeah! Right. Awesome. What a big old beast. 75 yards. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral. Weiss Realty, Chilson Automotive, and MBS. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. It contains less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need for proper gestation. And it's a great way to ensure that your deer are getting the proper vitamins and minerals they need to grow big horns. We started using Real Deal Mineral on our farm this year, and the results, well, they speak for themselves. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. Weiss Realty will find the perfect property for you. The entire Weiss team of agents brings expert knowledge from every aspect of the outdoors and specializes in hunting land in rural properties. Whether it's hunting, fishing, farming, logging, or construction, we have the answers to your questions. Buying or selling, hunting or farmland, Contact a land specialist from the Weiss team today. Weiss Realty. We cover a lot of ground. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we have part two of the Wisconsin Food Plot Project, where we meet Josh Gens of G2 Outdoor Products. Now, Josh is going to help us select the seed blends that we need for our food plot project and talk a little bit about what you need to look for when selecting seeds. But first, we head to Alberta with Cal Labakan of Blair, Wisconsin. Now, Cal has a dream of hunting big game in the Canadian Rockies. We get to tag along with Cal as he realizes that dream. Hi, I'm Calvin Liebachen from Blair, Wisconsin. I work at Liebachen Accounting, which my wife owns and has ran for 25 years. I have a 27-year-old son, a 25-year-old daughter, 13-year-old son, and an 11-year-old daughter. Um, we got registered Herefords here. But anyway, my oldest daughter wanted to start the show. And so we bought up a couple cow-calf pairs, and now the younger two kids are getting into showing. We enjoy having the animals around and seeing the calves being born and watching them grow. And Showing animals is kind of in our blood. When we were able to get the first part of this farm, it was our little piece of heaven. This, this was our uh, kind of our dream. My wife and I have known each other for 33 years, been married for 28. And through the time of being early newlyweds and um, not having any really good paying jobs starting out, you always make up dream lists of things you want to do. So, you know, um, taking a trip to Alaska, or I like to go on a big 
big deer hunt, elk hunt, mule deer hunt, bear hunt. My wife decided to take it a little step further a year ago. She talked to some friends that been up to Canada hunting and really enjoyed it. And she handed me this envelope. And here it was. It was a, a hunting trip to Canada for a mule deer or a whitetail. I personally told her no because it was, it was still in the paperwork stage. And I said, no, we just can't do this yet. And she finally convinced me that, no, you need to do this now. I'm up here in Alberta, Canada with Canadian Outdoor Adventures. Of course, I'm on a muley and whitetail hunt. Came out in the West Country to see if we could find some bighorn sheep and ride on them. There's a couple up there, or at least one up there with about a two-thirds curl. It's really amazing the mountains up here, all, all God's beauty. Can't ask for anything more than this here than having the natural beauty of this country. Everybody dreams when they're younger about going on to a big hunt somewhere. And I always dreamed about coming up to Canada or for a big hunt. It's, I'm kind of speechless because you don't ever expect it to happen. And the beauty of the mountains, of God's creation, you know, you can look down valleys or across valleys and it's hard to describe until a person actually sees what they're missing out on. Yep, back home is beautiful. We got these beautiful rolling hills, but up here, it's, no man is really monkeyed with them. It's undescribable to see something, this many acres and acres of land right now. You know, we're next to a band of sheep off the, one of the main roads. And they're wild. To, you know, they don't really, they know what we are, but yet they don't. Young one's coming down now. I hope that one, there's one up there that's got a pretty, not a complete curl, but he's at least a two thirds curl on him. Oh, there he comes. Coming down now. Thank you. Good shot. Thank you. Unbelievable. 
uh, my guide, we were glassing area out and he spotted this buck down the valley. We crept down, down over the hill and he seen him first and I watching and it wasn't long he pointed again and I was able to get a sight on him and I shot pre-standing which I don't normally do and deer moved and I ejected and I put another one in there and next thing I know he said he went down and <laughs> it's just it's amazing. Thanks so much. <laughs> Great shot. Good job. My first year hunting in Alberta, Canada, and I had superb guides with the Canadian Outdoor Adventures. It's been amazing up here. First couple days, came across a few moose, and then today the guide Merv finally were glassing and he caught the glimpse of the horns. We pulled on past and started making our way down here and he also noticed there was he was bedded down with four does and we started walking up over the hill, coming down and couldn't see him at first, couldn't see him at first, and then finally he got up and does took off and I guess I got lucky and placed my shot the way it was supposed to be done and I, I just thank the Canadian Outdoors Adventures for giving me this opportunity to come up here and take a nice buck like this. When I first got up here, seeing the, all the animals that are not in a preserve, all in their natural habitat, we've seen martens up here, coyotes, the muleys, and uh, whitetails. Coming on a hunt like this here was a dream for me. I never thought it would come true. I was able to stalk in on a nice muley that I was able to get sights on and get and harvest. And being up here with the guys, it's unreal. Hi, I'm Joanne Ides with Ides Guides and Buffalo Hides. Outdoor Bound TV will be right back after these messages. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, Tacticam, and G2 Outdoor Products. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, Precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple. Efficient. Powerful. Mission by Matthews. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a hardcore forefinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Ben, what do you have on the front of your bow? This is the new Tacticam HD video camera and bow stabilizer, all in one. It features one touch easy recording in a waterproof housing, and it comes with universal mounting with a rechargeable battery. Film your hunt hands free in full HD. That's incredible. Where do you find those? Tacticam is available to purchase on our website or at an outdoor retailer near you. Tacticam, share your hunt.
Hey everyone, we love to see the photos of the animals you harvest and the fish you catch here on Outdoor Bound TV. Well, this season, our friends at Petrick Service Station have once again teamed up with Mike Lee Taxidermy to bring you some great prizes just for submitting your photos to the show. Simply log on to the Outdoor Bound TV website, click on the Submit Photo button, and all the instructions and contest rules are right there. All animal photos submitted will be entered into the Hunting Grand Prize Drawing, a Remington Model 700-270 rifle, compliments of Petrick Service Station. All fish photos submitted will be entered into the Fishing Grand Prize Drawing, a professional fish mounting, compliments of Mike Liga Taxidermy. All entries must be received by December 1st to qualify. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photos. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. On part one of the Wisconsin Food Plot Project, we brought in Nick Percy from Killer Food Plots to evaluate the property in central Wisconsin and to build an overall management plan for whitetails and other wildlife. In preparation for planting the food plots that Nick designed, we sprayed weed killer on each location. Then we recruited the help of our friends at MBS to rough in our food plot locations and with the addition of a little lime and fertilizer, the plots are now ready for seed. On this week's segment, we meet Josh Gens of G2 Outdoor Products. He helps us determine what seed blend is best for each location and what to look for when purchasing food plot seed blends. Hey folks, this is Josh Gens with G2 Outdoor Products. So when you go into your outdoor retailer and you're looking at which seed to purchase for your particular food plot, the first step, you need to know what you want to plant and what you want to produce in that plot. One of the biggest questions we get asked is, what's the difference between an annual and a perennial? Uh, perennials are going to be your chicory, your clover, things that are going to last three to five years, potentially up to seven. Um, annuals are going to be more a spring or fall planting that's going to last just for that one season. Um, after that, you're going to have to either disc up the plot and redo it and just replant it each year. What I suggest is a 70-30 mix, 30% perennials and 70% annuals. Annuals are important because they're a very tender, very highly palatable food source every year. It's fresh, it's new. Perennials, after three to five years, start to get a little stemmy, pulpy, harder to break down and digest, and they're not as desirable. Second, you're gonna look at the bag. Turn the bag over, take a look at these couple items. First, you're gonna look at your germination rates. Take a look at anything that's 85% or higher. That's gonna be a good benchmark for you to know that it's good seed quality and it's still gonna germinate um, the way you want it to and it's going to produce the food plot that you're looking for. Secondary is going to be your purity. So that's going to be your seed purity as far as what else is in that bag. Is there inert matter, weed seed, seed coating, things of that nature. All this should be labeled on the back uh, specifically to each different blend and which variety of seed that they're using. The other thing that we, you would want to look at is what is the variety of the seed. There's many different varieties of chicory, clover, uh, oats. Make sure that it's specific to your whitetails or turkey or whatever you're trying to produce your food plot for. Uh, that's very important. If you're planting one thing and it's not specific for that animal, it's not going to attract them. Um, when you see a bag that's marked 50 pounds for $19.99 and you see a four pound bag that's marked $39.99, what's the true difference? Turn the bag over again, make sure you're comparing apples to apples. The $19.99 bag may be um, lower germination rates, seed purities, could have inert matter in it could also be a totally different size seed that you're planting. Um, could be a bag of oats compared to a bag of chicory. That's a completely, totally different size comparison. When you're taking a look at the cost of your overall food plot project, the last thing you want to do is go into your outdoor retailer, see three different blends uh, with three different price points and go with the cheapest one. Take a close look and get the best you can possibly buy. You really do get what you pay for in this industry in this particular food plot blends. Take that into consideration when you're going and doing your food plot project of your fertilizer, your fuel costs, your liming requirements, your time, how much it's actually costing you to do your food plot. The last thing you want to do is skimp out on the seed. Make sure you're getting the highest quality so you know that every single seed in that bucket is going to germinate and it's going to produce the results you're looking for. 
Well, once we decided on utilizing the G2 Outdoor products, the question became what seed blend was best for each location? Uh, one of the products that we've brought to the table is our Dream Screen product. That combination creates an anywhere from 8 to 14 foot tall wall around the perimeter of your food plot. And you can break up your food plot into smaller compartments. Um, we also use it for screening to get in and out of, as part of our entry and exit strategy, to get to your stands. What we like to do is I like to split the food plot up and create partial walls coming across to create a crisscross effect. What that does is when that mature buck comes in the back door and you're sitting in the front door and that buck comes in and doesn't see the doe he wants, he usually goes right out the back door and stays in that thick cover on the outside. What that dream screen can do is it can allow that buck to come in. He can't stand that he can't see on the other side of that wall, so it makes him traverse through the food plot and come right to you in your stand. It also creates a communication corridor. <clears throat> Many of you are probably familiar with what a, uh, a licking branch is that hangs down deer work that 365 days a year. They don't only work it during prime rut time when you see a big scrape in the ground. They actually use that to communicate all year long. So what's important is that when you create that wall of cover that's outside of the normal hard, hard edge and create soft edge, which deer absolutely love, is it also creates a daytime movement to hit their licking branches and to work scrapes during daylight hours to stay out longer in the morning and to come out earlier in the afternoon. Again, giving you an advantage to harvest that animal or to view that animal that you want to harvest. We're back here at one of the food plots. First, we're going to start out with the uh, G2 Dream Screen. This is a screening product that you can use to wrap your food plots and actually create funnel points along the edges. It grows 8 to 12 feet tall, really gives a false sense of security in these openings um, so the deer utilize the food plot more during the daylight hours when you're hunting them. So next, we're going to work in our G2 Chicory and our G2 Triple P. These are our perennial blends. It's going to give nice nutrition throughout the year. It's also a fall early attraction. Uh, the G2 Chicory is just going to be your early season um, variety. It really does well with drought resistance and it also provides a lot of uh, protein and nutritional value throughout the year. We use our G2 Chicory and our Triple P Clovers. I like to blend those two together at a two to one ratio. Uh, one acre of Chicory to half acre of Clover. The Chicory uh, be the first thing to green up in the spring, followed by your clover. Next in this food plot, we're actually going to be using our G2 Extreme Brassicas. This food plot blend will create up to eight tons of forage per acre. Um, it's going to be more of your late season attraction, so if you're doing a uh, little rut hunting, late muzzle loader, it's going to be optimal for those conditions. It'll keep them coming back throughout the winter months, keeping the nutrition on your property. So in determining what forage to put in your food plot, obviously for hunting. Um, my recommendation for an early bow hunting stand into the beginning of gun season is our fall finisher blend from G2. That's a great forage, gets the deer in, they stop, have a snack, gives you an opportunity to harvest the animal you want to harvest. Uh, our extreme brassicas take you from late bow season into uh, early, or into gun in winter time. Uh, we also have our all seasons blend, which you can plant in the spring or you can plant in the fall. Another great high quality forage uh, produces quickly and provides the deer what they want. In this food plot, we're going to be incorporating the G2 all seasons blend. It's a great blend if you're looking for that early season, summer, spring attraction and nutrition plot, or you can utilize it as a fall planting and get the nutrition and the attraction during the hunting season. It produces a lot of forage, a lot of protein base, it's got some legumes as well as some brassicas in there so you get the total year-round attraction on your property. Okay, so now we know what seed blends to use where, but when is the best time of year to plant these plots to maximize the investment? So in the spring, you want to make sure your ground temperature is 60 degrees at night. So how do you know? When soybeans start going in with the farmers, that's how you judge that. When they plant, you can plant. Our triple P and our chicory those can be frost seeded, which means they can go down when there's still snow on the ground. What that'll help you do is get that seed established prior to weeds germinating. And putting in fall blends, you can plant in late July, early August, depending on where you're at. But you need to have sufficient rainfall for germination and to sustain the life of the plant once it does germinate. Hey, do you want to stay up to date on the cast and crew of Outdoor Bound TV? Find them on Facebook, or you can log on to their website, OutdoorBound.tv. OutdoorBound TV is brought to you by 
Team Smackdown Outdoors, Meyer Recreational Buildings, Pro Designs, and Canada Outdoor Adventures. Team Smackdown Outdoors. Smackdown Outdoors, leading the way in custom outdoor art. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. For 24 years, we've been rolling up our sleeves, helping grow your business. Designing and printing the finest billboards, signs, and more. More applications, more recognition, Innovation and American craftsmanship make Pro Designs today's leader in printing performance. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Offering professionally guided, all inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a US based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Archery equipment provided for Outdoor Bound TV by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, Optimizer by HHA Sports, and Tacticam. Hey Cal, congratulations on a great mule deer buck in Alberta. That hunt was a lot of fun. And Josh, thanks for the tips on what seeds blends to be choosing for our food plots. Now make sure to check back in a few weeks where we're gonna go back to our Wisconsin food plot project to check on the progress of those plots. And we're gonna add the final step, the introduction of mineral licks to our property. Folks, join us again here next week and we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. <laughs> Outtakes. There's your clap. <laughs> On this week's show, we learned. <sighs> Good sound. Yeah, it was. All right. <laughs> How about yeah. now? So we can just keep going. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. That ought to be fun. Uh, start over from scratch, or I want to say. Let's see. Well, that's not good. That's not what I want to say.